Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Lee Newton. And the hills are alive with the sound of music. Aww. The lineup for Lollapalooza 2012 was just announced, and the headliners are quite the color-coordinated bunch, and they kind of appeal to four different generations. They include Black Keys, Jack White, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and Black Sabbath. For those of you that don't know, Lollapalooza was created by the Jane's Addiction singer Perry Farrell back in 1991. It began as a touring festival, but now it's a stationary three-day affair that welcomes over 160,000 music fanatics to Chicago to explore the music under the sun. And this will be the third time the Red Hot Chili Peppers will headline. I feel like the Red Hot Chili Peppers have headlined every concert everywhere for the last 20 years, and I'm pretty sure that 10-year-old Joe was up in Northwest Montana, and he had a conversation that was like, Hey Joe, you going to the Northwest Montana Fair this year? Heck yeah, I'm going. I'm get my tilt to whirl on, I'm gonna eat some cotton candy, I'm gonna check out the Music Jamboree. Music Jamboree sounds like fun! Heck yeah, it'll be fun! the Red Hot Chili Peppers are headlining in Montana. Also scheduled to perform are the reunited at the drive-in Florence and the Machine, Franz Ferdinand, and Gaslight Anthem. Shins, Block Party, Mike Snow, M83. Delta Spirit, Sigaros, a personal favorite of both of ours, and my boyfriend, Childish Gambino. Donald, accept my friend request, okay? Make this happen. We're meant to be together. I want to make love to your music and predominantly to you. This lineup announcement comes just before the weekend of another massive music festival that we both won't be attending. <sighs> And that festival is Coachella. The festival was created in 1999 and is held out in the California desert. Radiohead, Black Keys, and Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre are this year's headliners, so stock up local medicinal dispensaries. You know, I'm kind of dying on the inside because I really wanted to see Pulp, Feist, and Beirut at Coachella. I am definitely on the Feist train, and I also would have liked to have seen uh, Arctic Monkeys and Deer Hunter because pushy Kevin Pereira told me to. He's also my boyfriend. Kevin Pereira. And just because, let's do some concert reminiscing. What okay. was your first concert ever? Uh, DC Talk. Strange. Uh -huh. Mine was Weird Al. What oh. was your favorite concert ever? I, I loved Hall & Oates. I've seen Radiohead like 8 billion times. I love Neil Diamond. Uh, surprisingly, Britney Spears was really badass. I don't believe you. Mine was Sasquatch Festival 2008. I saw Modest Mouse, R.E.M., The Cure, Death Cab for Cutie, Cold War Kids, Presidents of the United States of America, and Crudo, which was a Mike Patton side project. Anyways, it was awesome. And I also gonna take this moment to tell everybody that I contend that there is no better concert venue than the Gorge in Washington State. Oh, I really love the Hollywood Bowl. Fact. And what was your favorite concert moment ever? Uh, singing Sweet Caroline every word with my brother Jake next to me while we were wearing our Neil Diamond t-shirts and the woman next to us who was like seven kept messing up the lyrics. I caught a guitar pick thrown out into the audience by Dave Grohl at a Foo Fighters concert. Nice. I still got it and sleep with it. It's awesome. Shut up. Anyways, what are some of your favorite concert memories? Please let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Click the annotation down below. Go to sourcefed.com for our five daily stories and everything else you've ever done. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Joe Beretta. Sweet, Sweet Caroline. Caroline. Bum, 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 bum. Bum.